Bill Gates wants to reduce global warming by spraying stratospheric aerosols that will reflect some of the sun's rays back into space. And what I find most surprising about that piece of news is how not surprised I was when I heard it. Because it's really not that crazy a jump from everything we're experiencing right now. Just four years ago, if someone had told me that one day in Canada, the government would be selling weed and haircuts and eating indoors would be illegal, I would have thought that person is out of their mind. So now the Windows guy wants to block out the sun? Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? How does anyone involved in this think it's a good idea? Your only frame of reference is catastrophic volcanoes and nuclear winter simulations. But, in all fairness, in the article it does specify that the stratospheric aerosols are going to be non-toxic. Which is kind of like saying that your gun is gluten-free. Good for you, I guess. Like, they had to create a whole organization for this. They had to rent a building, get a bunch of furniture, look over resumes, get a whole team together. And at no point during the process did at least one of the people go, um, guys, uh, what the fuck? We're trying to block out the fucking sun. Do you all realize how insane that sounds? Mr. Burns already did that on The Simpsons. And he's the bad guy on that show. It really does sound like you're replacing a problem by other multiple equally bad ones. Right, it's like, well, we had this ant problem in our house, uh, so we like set our house on fire, but no more ants, or walls, or grandpa. Poor guy. Someone really should have told him about the plan. Right, what other cataclysms did Bill have in mind as a solution? So what if we took like a giant rock and then like threw it at the earth from space? That's kind of like control alt delete. Right? You couldn't get Windows XP down, but you're going to fix the stratosphere. So here in the article it says the exact amount of CaCO3 needed to cool the planet is unknown. And SCOPX scientists similarly cannot confirm whether it is the best stratospheric aerosol for the job. Wow, imagine if you went to a doctor and he was like, damn, that wound looks really infected. I should just like throw sand on it. And you were like, is that supposed to help? And he was like, well, it could help is the most important thing, I think. Proponents of geoengineering have cited the global cooling effects of volcanic eruptions that result from the introduction of sulfuric ash into the atmosphere. The 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora in Indonesia resulted in the year without a summer, while the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines lowered global average temperatures by 0.5 degrees Celsius. My favorite part is how they describe the 1815 eruption as the year without a summer. As though that's the most noteworthy aspect of the whole thing. Forget that it was a huge tragedy. Right? Like if you would have spoken to someone from that time period and they went, uh, Oh yeah, man, there was this one year where you couldn't even like go swimming the whole summer. Man, also like all the crops froze, so my whole village died. But man, you had to wear a sweater in July. It's crazy. A report by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change suggested that SCOPX procedure could lower global temperatures by a full 1.5 degrees Celsius for no more than $1 to $10 billion a year. Wow! They're practically giving global disasters away. David Keith has proposed the creation of a risk pool to compensate smaller nations for collateral damage caused by such tests. But such a payout might be little comfort to those displaced by unlivable conditions. So basically what that means is uh, if their tests fail and, you know, a disaster happens and possibly hundreds of thousands of people die, at least 
you're gonna have like 40 world leaders wearing golden chains and pinky rings at the next UN meeting. So things kind of balance each other out. So now to circle back, as far as I understand, this is not Bill Gates' idea. He's just backing this organization that wants to make it happen, unless I'm wrong. But also tell me that doesn't sound like a plan of some genius kid that was bullied in high school and now wants revenge, right? Like, oh, you're gonna stuff me in a locker? Well, I'll become a billionaire and we'll block out the fucking sun. How about that? Anyway, I think this is it for this week's episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, if you did, please don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And if there's anything you want me to cover in the future, please let me know in the comments. And uh, that's it. See you guys next time.